Well, you guys did it. You guys got over 100 likes on the last video. So, we're back. And we're gonna do a full on tour right now. Starting off with the Pokemon Concierge, which they seem to have something for free here. It talks about the Netflix show. Hmm. I'll take it. Let's go on inside. Starting with the Pokemon Concierge, and right away we have beautifully designed, looks like a bag where you can put your clothes in, into your suitcase when you go on trips. It essentially takes the air out. Very nice and decorated beautifully. But when you go over to the side, we have another bag. This one is an actual carry-on bag where you can hold it on your lap and stuff. Looks like we have First ring inside, Charizard, Venusaur. Oh, Sudowoodle's hidden and by the phone. And then we have the black version. But I think there's more than just the black version. Let's open it up. Alright, the interior has Quagsire inside. So if you want something less Pokemon and more subtle, you can have Pokemon design inside the bag and not necessarily on the outside. I think a lot of this has to do with travel because this is a Psyduck eye mask. Maybe you take this on your airplane, sleep with it, you might look like a Psyduck. That's pretty cute. But I really, really think this is really cool. Like, Oddish, one of my favorite Pokemon. Blossom, another favorite. On a t-shirt. Well, more like a button-up. Looks very Hawaiian. And you can wear this with it too. Which handkerchief, where is it? I saw it, there it is. Which is right here. Oh, Weedle is on it. And Kakuna on the back side. We got the designs of the Quagsars right here. And here's the shirt. See the Pokemon Concierge shirt. S size, too small. But super cool colors. I always guess it's the shirt that the main character wears actually. I also have a towel of the Venusaur Earth Ring right here along with other Pokemon. I think that's Pidgey in the back. And this huge bag. Triple bag? What's inside this huge pack? Looks like you have a big bag. So at the top you have a big bag. And then you have two small bags. A medium bag right here. Three bags in one. Maybe you want to decorate your house with some pillows. Oh, very nice. Small oh, pillows. That'd be cool for your couch. Pokemon Concierge pillow, and if you want to have a nice blue design, they have this. So it looks like there's two designs here in general for most of the items. You got the Quagsar Whooper design, which I think looks very nice, very light. And then you have the darker green jungle colors, which is cool too. I love green, but if I was going to put these in my house, I'd go with the lighter version. Clear files, of course with all your favorites, all three monkeys, and stickers. I have three different types of pens. You got the green grass pen, you got the light blue Rooper pen, and we have one more. There's a whale mark on there right there. You really can make this part of your house. This is a couch cover in this green grass design, jungle design I'll call it. So you could basically have a Pokemon Concierge. I don't know what it looks like. Uh, I haven't watched it, but that would be really insane to match your house, your couch like this. Have some matching slippers for your guests. This is pretty big. I think I could actually use these in my new house. You got both of them, Venusaur and Charizard on there. That's really nice. And you can get cups too. Matching cups, same design. And, and, and coasters like this. Maybe it's too much of the same design, but yeah, if you really like Pokemon Concierge, go all out, buy them all. 
You can get a notebook too with the same image all over it like this or like this, the Pokemon Concierge. So I never understood what's your charm point and what it entails or why it is a thing. But I do like how they look like this Daramaka bag. Looks so soft. Oh, two sides. One's happy, one's nonchalant. Or this bag that has many of the Pokemon that are in What's Your Charm Point. You have this huge pillow for 3,300 yen. Same design as the bag. Oh, it's about to fall. <laughs> you saw these from last time the Rotom little keychain and the stickers of the nice spinda as well as this mini little booklet nope looks like they are stands oh ah random spindas so you have one in is it 15 different spindas to get which one will you get if you buy have what's your charm point stickers and what's this this seems like it's not a coaster it's a mirror this is a mirror guys so remember these plushies? They only made a couple plush. Actually, this is the only plush I see here. So one Badoo plush and a toucan little bag. They have stickers here. They have a figure here, which I really might get in the future. Maybe not today, because it looks cool. It would go cool in my background. Good colors. This. What's your charm point jacket? And this huge blanket. Also, bento boxes. Very bright, very colorful. And what's this? A water bottle. Nice design. I never saw them advertise this. Ooh, this feels heavy. What is in here? This is a full collection of plates. Wonder what the plates look like. Do they show you? Oh, these are interesting. Okay, so these are plates. So essentially what you get is one of these nine plates randomly. Or you get this box for all nine plates. Which plate would I want? Ah, they're all not bad designs actually. But I really like the Boudou one. The final What's Your Charm point is this cool Rotom light. Saw it last time, didn't know the price, but I found it now. It's 7,700 yen. So, a little on the high side, but I'll still think about it once I set up my room. Back, we are back. Katsuburis are back. The plushes are still here. The random draw of six little keychains are still here. The Dondozo sushi plate. I might have to get this and uh, have a sushi party. I feel like I missed this last time. The Tatsuguri uh, su what is it? Chopstick holders? So you got one, two, I feel like there's a third one, the orange one, but I don't see it here. So only two left. I imagine having guests over and you can put your chopsticks basically on these little sushi. And then we have our rice scooper, our wooden rice scooper. Looks super legit. 1500 yen for this. 1200 for a chopstick holder, which is a little pricey to be honest. Then this really awesome plush, 6600 yen. Prices seem to be getting higher actually. I didn't expect it to be this high. I saw something else on the other side. Let's go around the corner. So yeah, I found the orange plush here, or at least the keychain plush of it, along with the other two. All bunch. They have a whole bunch here. Never sold. Look, it's a beautiful shot. And if you keep going, I guess they repeated it because they have extras. And still more of the wooden rice scoopers. As well as soy sauce holders. That's what I believe they are anyways. And a whole lot of the dondozo. But the new thing I found, at least I didn't see before, is this huge cushion. I think you sit on this in front of like, let's say a table in front of the TV, since in Japan we don't really have huge dining tables. You'd sit on the floor on this cushion. This is a very, very soft, be good, protects your butt. Oh, there's a backside. It looks beautiful. 
elegant, very, very colorful, has a lot of personality, and it's only 4,000 yen. Sticker roll tape, as they call it. More seals. Some more, what is this? Oh, booklet stickers. The backpack, of course, the Tatsuguri backpack. Tatsuguri sweater. And socks, a lot of Tatsuguri socks, all right here. And this cool towel with Tatsuguri and Dondozo all over it. You can see it actually here, they have the example. Hello. And a bag. I didn't see this. So they just put examples of stuff now all over the place. Like the bag here. I think this is the bag. Yes, that is the bag. That's a horsey watering can. So we're back at the Pokemon Concierge items and it looks like they have this huge, only two per buying at the store, but horsey watering can here, 1000 milliliters. Very big. <laughs> it matches perfectly if your house was decorated as the Pokemon Concierge. I don't know if it would look cool in most houses, but if you had a Pokemon decorated house, I could see this being a cool buy. But underneath, there's also this Bell Sprout light, I believe. Yeah. And actually, let's see, it says switch, and then you turn it on, and you have a light. New item, nothing, don't know what's there. But we're in like the bath time section. So these are like bath bombs, which you can essentially put a random bath bomb in and get one plush, not plush, one item, one Pokemon randomly out of these eight. Or you get this one, and you get one of the evolutions of Eevee. Is it one of nine? Yep, one of nine. Or, you get this one, which I found at another store too, and you get one of these four, and they're a little bigger. I really, really think Wiglet would be fun to have. Of course, they have toothbrushes here. Your, your simple toothbrushes. These are mirrors right here. Both of them, one Poke mirror. Toothbrush holder. These are also toothbrush holders. They look a little different. Look like this. They're from previous items in the past, I think. They have a lot of LED lights. You could just have a whole LED background of Pokemon. Pikachu, this one lights up too, so I could have Marie. And then the Rotom earlier, that's three light ups already. Pokemon Tails, put this, they're magnetic and they stick so you can hang things off of it. Maybe not too much stuff because the weight would be too much, but at least a nice design. Could match your house at the aesthetic. This Gengar bow. This is the Gengar section. Gengar hairband. Wait, there's more, there's more, there's more. New hairband. So you can have one of those too. I saw behind this is Snorlax. <laughs> and then, let's see, Kue Coco and Pikachu glasses holders. Eye mask. A Slowpoke eye mask. A Pikachu eye mask. A Snorlax one, which makes perfect sense. And I don't know if there was any more. I think that's it. Makeup sponges of Pikachu, assortment. This, everyday happiness, it's a cleaner. No wonder it doesn't get sold. It just sort of cleans. It's sticky, I think, and you roll it around. Maybe it's for like pets, dogs, hair, that type of thing. Key rings for phones, different Pokemon, different colors, very bright. And then those were like, Plushy looking or plastic looking. These are very actually these are straight plastic design. What are these? Straps. Straps for wires, cords. Ditto Gengar straps for phones. Pommel Mimikyu also for the phone. And then what's this? Psyduck and Pikachu looking confused. Hangs off of you or and you can hold your phone. Maybe it's for when you're in the water. Are these mouse pads? They are. So there's four different mouse pads I found. Because I saw a Quaxley here. And randomly, Mimikyu. 
which almost doesn't make sense considering it's the three starters and then Mimikyu, but hey, Charger Phone, Pikachu. Phone grips, different Pokemon. Mimikyu again, it's a good choice, I like it. Especially for Halloween, even though we're not even close to Halloween, but a lot of phone items, it looks like, all in this area. Quite a bit of different variety that you can get. The Pokemon Fit series is here. We start with Gen 1, and then it slowly moves to Gen 1. <laughs> Just jumps all the way to Gen 5, but that's how these walls go. They start with most of them. Every year or so, a couple years, they'll put up new generations, and they'll have most of those. For the rest of them, it's sort of hit or miss if you're going to have any. I mean, you have Gen 1 up here, Gen 2, Gen 3. So they do exist. But if you want a favorite, you might be best to check either the Tokyo Pokemon Center, which has a lot of plushes, or just check online, because they are pretty much all available. It's not always in a store. But this store looks like they heavily have Gen 5, although they used to have it all across the wall, but looks like they've cut it in half now. Still, quite a bit of options. At least if you like Gen 5. If you don't, well, then you're gonna have to wait because there's nothing else for Gen, you know, 6 or 7, but you do have a couple items from Gen 1. It's getting smaller and smaller. I think it's on this screen right here. Then we go to Gen 2. Capoeira! Or I guess what you guys would call Hitmon Top. But the Japanese name is Capoeira. Makes sense, right? The dancing. <laughs> Butterfree. Always a nice one to have. The weird thing about this plush, Butterfree is cool, but the wings, they're not really plush. So they seem to be easy to get dirty, actually. So you gotta be careful with this one. But very cute. Adorable. Same size as Pikachu, too. <laughs> Which is, you know, your quintessential plush if you're gonna ever get one. And then if you have any favorites. Let's see. Oh! like Pachiris here, which I already have this one, but still really cool. I really love how huge Wormpool is. Sometimes with small Pokemon, they gotta make them big, right? And they just, they turn out much more cuter when they're bigger. Also, another thing I love about the Fit series, when they're big Pokemon, let's say like Mewtwo, they gotta make them small. So they also turn out cute. So that's why I think the Fit series is really awesome. Seems like they added Pikachu here to take up the space of the fit and also the Poké Piece plushes, which are always wonderful plushes, especially for the younger kids because they're super soft, like they're made of a different material, very fuzzy. Or if you don't want to go fuzzy, these feel like those mm, cushions you have that are very soft for your couches, and they have different Pokémon wide variety of them, at least of the Poké Piece series, like your Piplup here. Here you can even see all the options. Sleeping Pokémon plushes, which are fairly popular now. They seem to keep making more and more, because guess what, there's new items. Apparently, this is new, a sleeping Sprigatito, but only Sprigatito. No other starters, because they decided to make a sleeping Charizard, as well as a sleeping Pachiris, which we have to probably get because, well, they don't really make Pachiris that often, so when they do, we take it. I did notice there was a couple plushes over here that were also new. These are fairly familiar. If you've been watching the channel, you do know they, they have these usually. This is not common. I don't see Yamper that often, especially the small version. Very cute. But Rockruff, I saw, is new. I haven't seen this one before. The fact that they created this, I assume it's because Pokemon Go had uh, a special event with Rockruff. A bigger Rockruff is here too. So they must really try to take advantage of Pokemon Go events because I've noticed when a Pokemon Go event happens, some of the plushes do start to show up in the store. This is really cool, actually. I really like this one. Plushes of starters. So these are not your fit 
Pokemon, they are a little bigger and they have these hard eyes, not soft plush eyes. So they look a little more chibi, more realistic. Lugia, Mewtwo, Vaporeon. But a big reason why I came over here wasn't these actually. I noticed down here they have these soft versions of Mew, Piplup, and Yamper. But I also saw these strange looking Snorlax and Munchlax as well as Psyduck and Pikachu. But what I noticed was this Gimme Gore right here. Which is new for this store at least. I haven't seen it before. So it looks like they put all the new plushes in this area actually. New meaning Gen Nice Scarlet and Violet plushes. Whoa, this thing's big. See, Gen the the who Scarlet Violet ball right here. You can get all the starters in. Well, you know, ironically, I haven't gone through this in the game or in any Pokemon Center tour because, quite frankly, I keep missing it every time I come. So they do have one plush here. I think they have more in the front. So I'll go find that for you guys. In the meantime, before I get to the front, there's cups here. Wakate Ika cup, so mouse hold cups. Your Detective Pikachu cup. So basically, anything that doesn't sell, they put it in a respective location. So usually new stuff is in the front, and then once that doesn't sell, it moves it to the back. So all these cups are from different series throughout the year. Oh look, Pachiris is right here. Hard to see. But yeah, a lot of different cups here. So many different varieties. They really range from each Pokemon Center. You might have one you see here, but in another Pokemon Center it might not have it. So you gotta really check every single one if you want something specific. Or you just go to Pokemon Center online and ship it to your Airbnb if you can. Coasters for homes. <laughs> these coasters I bought for my brother. But these are cool. Blue and pink. Apparently a new item here. We got Dizzy looking Charizard hanging on a... It's not a keychain, but essentially you can put it with your keys. We got Dizzy looking Azumarill. So it's sort of a nice style. A different style. An interesting style. Right? Does he even have eyes? I guess he does. <laughs> Garchomp, Dizzy. So I mean, they choose some random Pokemon. These are very interesting. Though. Looks like those are the only colors that they chose, or if not colors, with Pokemon. But they look beautiful side by side because of different colors all the way down the line. The Pokemon socks. This one I can just sort of stand here and just sort of look at them all. I'll go down the line slowly. See, wide variety of socks. Oh, before I keep going down the line. I did see a favorite sock of mine. Ready, ready, ready. This one. Love the colors. In fact, if they ever, oh, so soft, so comfortable. That could be a good at home sock, I feel like. We still found some of the new products, but I think most of them are gone. Now we just have stickers here, badges, pins, and keychains, and a couple more plushes. But that's it. I guess I missed out. I was in America, so I couldn't see them all. But oh, clear file also, of course. They always have clear files. Preparing for Valentine's Day, we have a Pikachu Valentine heart-shaped cup. You can only get one, I think. So maybe for your Valentine, you buy this cup. It's very, very interesting shape. Hard to drink, probably. Some more Pokemon cards. Very, well, I guess they're decks. Very, very, uh, you know what you're gonna get. But I did see they have packs I might have to buy. <gasps> Ooh, this looks cool. This is new. This looks, it looks like all electric Pokemon. Oh, Pachidis, oh my goodness. How do we get Pachidis? Actually, which, every single one. Puzzle Minum, Pachidis, Emolga, Pikachu. More Paco, Dendene. You know what? Every single one of these is a win, so let's grab one. This is a cool bag. I've never seen this one, but it has Fushiga, <laughs> Fushigi Dane, Hitokage, 
And then he got me your Japanese starters from Gen 1. Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur. But yes, that's the bag section. Lots of little bags, big bags, fuzzy bags. These are all fuzzy bags, actually. So they showcase the Pokemon, the starter Pokemon, very, very well, very bright. So if you want to be loud and proud, I think Bulbasaur looks the best out of all six, to be honest. Or you can be more subtle and have them just etched on there. Little carrying bags, or just have this cool big bag with Pikachu on it. Not as, you know, apparent that you have a Pokemon bag, but yet you still represent the Pokemon company. Or little bags here, down at the bottom, like this. 25 year anniversary Pikachu bag. These aren't bags. This is Snorlax sleeping head neck rest. Trading card game sleeves. There are so many different sleeves in this store, in all stores. They keep coming out with new ones. It's hard to like, you know, say which one's great or which one's rare because they all keep coming out and you don't know if they ever become not popular, but so many to choose from. I almost feel overwhelmed. And then these are play mats over here with different designs. Rapidash, Flames and Fairies. Oh, uh, I guess the, both Rapidashes. Legend of Hoenn. So it's the three legendaries. Interesting. What we got here? Dragonite Rayquaza. Pikachu, Rayquaza over here. So hard to see. Luxray Limited and Volcarina and Frostmoth. Energy cards. Why? I guess you know, everyone will need energy cards somehow. And then decks, little decks here. Simple decks. Not the ones you should buy, but easy for people to buy as gifts, I guess. But definitely not what people want. Pokemon card boxes with designs. Beautiful designs. So hard to choose though. Which would you choose as one of your favorites to have? I'd pick this. I personally have one of these boxes here. I just don't know where it is right now. That's the thing. Sometimes they're here and sometimes they're sold out. Which is, I guess, typical of anything that you have in a store, but I'm just saying. Binders, a lot of binders. I have changed the lighting here, there you go. So many binders, which I actually do need to find myself a binder because I have a lot of cards. Uh, oh, that's, I think that's a good looking binder. Reminds me of when I played that game. Mats, play mats here. Big, big, oh, and boxes. The deck shields collection. Interesting. So essentially they protect your deck. This is a really good looking play mat. I think I could use that as a mouse pad on my desk though. A section that not a lot of people stare at. It's the mini towel section. With the Tatsuguri here. Pikachu and Gengar. It's nice. What are these for? So you got Rotom and Mr. Trash Bag here. What? Oh, so it looks like you take your water bottle and you place it inside so your hands don't get hot or cold. Okay, so it's like a little knapsack. Both of them. Such random stuff they always make. And it's sort of hard to decipher what they are until you look at the instructions. You don't always need them, but maybe you want them. Like this right here. Can you guess what this is? I thought it's a towel that goes over your shoulder maybe. Just like the Hug, Hug Me series. But yeah, I guess that's what it is. It's a Hug You mini towel. This one also, it is that series too, I just saw. So you can have a Beware Hug You as well. Or, or, or you get this nice warm cape of a substitute doll. Let's see, this will be your hoodie. It's pretty soft and pretty uh, 
Interesting. Do you like the Pokemon trainers? They still have them. I feel like not a lot of people do like them. Because they continue to stay here. It's been like three, four, five months. Since August, I feel like. That's even longer than that. And they still have a whole bunch of product stickers, stands, keychain plush, keychains, cups, wallet, random t shirts, both versions, more towels at the bottom, all different trainers and colors, and clear files, of course, which are cool. They made so many different types, though. I feel like all the favorites are gone, and now you're left with what's left. But still, it's fun. Stickers are great. Really great. Another series that I didn't quite understand was this, which I think it's the Hyper Beam series. I'll call it that. I don't know what it's really called, but they have the keychains, stickers, t shirts, pillows, random t shirts, towels, cups of all the products all sitting here, including all the pillows at the top. So, if that's interesting. I, it's at this Pokemon Center. I'm not going to say it's going to be here at every Pokemon Center, but this one seems to have it quite a bit. So, if this is something that you enjoy, come to this Pokemon Center. Fukuoka, not a common place to go to, but you know you're going to have a lot of products because it doesn't really sell out over here. The sticker section. They have this series, a very, very short. I saw that. And then they have little patches here that you could get of every single Pokemon, including Captain Pikachu. And then, then you get your wide variety of stickers here. So many different Pokemon. Different time periods, right? Detective Pikachu. You have the Scarlet Violet time. Most of it actually is Scarlet Violet, it looks like. Oh, these are clear stickers. They actually look... I've never seen them before. They look cool. That's actually interesting. Outline of Pokemon. Nice, subtle Pokemon stickers. More decoration. See, so yeah, literally the whole section right here. Stickers. Stationary. Well, not necessarily stationary, but these are like little books of paper books. This is the stationary section next to it. Where you can have... Literally, stickers, post-its, pens, schedules, origami, a lot of erasers right here. All different variety of look. If you want to see, I'm going to pause right here. Boom. I'm not moving. Okay, now I'm moving again. And move over to the pencil section. Little pens here. No, these are pencils. These are pencils. Who uses pencils anymore? I haven't used a pencil in a long time. These are pens here. And then a lot of different material you would use at home or in class. A lot of post-its, which actually look really cool. Cute, very cute. Pencil case holders, of course, because this is 2000 and actually 24, huh? I was going to say, it's 1990. That's when these were very popular, probably. <laughs> My favorite, the Poké Doll section. Remember, I bought this one last time. But they do have a little bit more than just that. These, remember, these are the Poké Dolls, so very, very popular items usually that sell a lot on resale markets. So if you see something, you like, get it. Just get it. And then we have these guys, which are fun. The happy side and the sad side. They need each other. So they pull apart and then come back together. Like this. The Jigglypuff. The Morel. Oh, they only have those three now? The Pikachu and Pichu are gone. This is really cute. More questions from Scarlet and Violet. It's <laughs> just a mess though, sort of just piled over here. But they are all in this area, so that's nice. No one really wants them, so they just sort of put them here. Puddle! 
big plushes at the top. 10,000 yen. It's called Big Mora for Ninja. Then you got the Sleeping Pikachu and Gengar. But these guys are the big thing. Where would you put them? Hmm. We'd have to decide if we can afford to bring these home. Nice. It's a starter section plush. Bigger than the Fit series. Oh. And then the a Area Zero section as well. Nice plushes over here. You got a whole bunch of your Gen 1s. Then you got a couple of legendaries down below. And then you got mini ones. Not like Fit series ones, but nice mini ones. Keychain plushes. A lot of them. And they kept the Detective Pikachu one here, which I thought would sell out, but I think the reason it doesn't sell out is it's also a card carrier, which I don't know many people who would carry this as their card badge. But what I noticed, the Halloween items are back for some reason. I thought they were sold out, which they were at the time, but they seemingly didn't actually sell out. Now they're in the back. All Yononiago ones. Literally every single one. Which is so cool because this one wasn't available and now it is here. I suggest come to Fukuoka and get these. So cool. The game section or the board games, the card game section. These reverse always fun to play. Other games that I don't know how to play but they're here. This EV little coin box. I had the Pikachu one but it doesn't work anymore. So maybe I should replace it. They still have these holders. Beautiful. Could go on your counter anytime. Puzzles. A lot of puzzles. So a lot of kids items here, I would say. Parade Pikachu. And a lot of mega blocks, nano blocks. So it looks like these are where you create random Pokemon. Or you choose specific Pokemon. Either way, quite a bit of options here. And then you just have this huge toy. So they have quite a bit of Pokemon toys here now in this little section. Or Scarlet Violet stickers are in the back here still. Can you find your favorite Pokemon? Can we find ours? I don't know if it's here. I don't think it is. All the favorites are gone. Oh, no. Here he is. And this one too. I think this is the final section I have to go through because I sort of skipped over it because of how overwhelming it is. Like I mentioned before, there's so many different variety of sleeves you could literally have. I mean, every single time a new uh, event happens, they have new sleeves. So it's really way too many to choose from. Just choose your favorite Pokemon or design. I mean, and then go from there. You could end up with so many different ones. But yeah, they look all nice. Sleeping Snorlax cookies. Mm, the tin looks cool. I don't know what's inside, but the tin looks like a fun buy. They have Pokemon cards here. These two packs, you can get how many of these? Doesn't tell me a limit. I thought there was a limit, but maybe there's not a limit. They also have these. And look what they have here. You can get now two boxes of the shiny, which I might have to do. I saw this Magikarp here, which you put in like, looks like miso soup. Comes here. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be the shiny version, regular version. If you get lucky, I'm not sure. Uh, be curious, because if that was the case, we definitely should get it and try it out. But. For flavor, probably not tasty great, but it looks cool. Looks like it'd be a fun meal. Maybe we can have a surprise little dinner. All right, that was the Pokemon Center here. Side up, saying goodbye. And what I noticed is they put a display on the outside. So right before we leave, you'll see that bell spot light again. Anyways, that's the tour, massive tour. One of the longest tours I've probably ever done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got this far, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys probably somewhere on the road. Oh, and the next time I do another Pokemon Center video, 
we're gonna have to get the 200 likes on this video because you guys easily got to 100 last time. So 200 this time on this video. And we'll do another full-on massive long tour. Anyways, now I'll see you.